This is the new CS5000 series real-time location system from Convergence Systems Limited. CSL claims that this system can achieve less than one meter of accuracy, be set up in under an hour, and cost less than $3,500. Based on what our team has seen, we're pretty skeptical. Hi, I'm Lou Sirico, and in this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to put that claim to the test and see just how well the CSL real-time location system really works. Stay tuned. I'm with Dr. Albert Live, Vice President of Product Development at CSL. Albert, welcome to the RFID Network. Thank you. So, Albert, tell us what makes this RTLS different than the others on the market? This is our reader and this is our tech. We use Time of Arrival Technology, abbreviated TOA, that gives us a one meter accuracy at ranges up to 100 meter away in outdoor environment. Wow, that's pretty accurate for an outdoor environment. What about an indoor environment? Our solution also works indoor. In fact, indoor is the place where traditional RSSI-based solution would fall apart. The people walking around absorbing energy and gives you wrong signal strength indication. Wow, okay. So what about the cost though? The, the cost seems very, very low. How do you get the cost of this equipment so low? Well, we actually do not charge anything for the location engine software. We figure, since we're using simple triangulation algorithm, we really shouldn't charge anything for it. Okay. Well, we're very anxious to try this out in the real world, so let's go do it. Yes, let's do it. So here we are, and I'm installing the CSL real-time location system. I've got my pole mounted in the ground. I've got my CSL RTLS reader. And Albert, so all I need to do is put this on the pole? Yes, that's all you need to do. All right, so I can mount this up here. And I need to connect this to power? That's right. That's the only cable? Exactly, yes. So when I install more readers, these readers are going to communicate with one another wirelessly. Uh, yes, they will connect uh, to each other wirelessly. Most of them you only need to connect a power cable. Only one of them you need to connect the Ethernet cable back to the PC server. Excellent. So how many more do I need to install now? Five more this time in this area. All right. Well, let's go install five more readers. Yep. Let's do it. Okay. I've just installed five more readers. Albert, what's next? The next thing we need to do is find out the exact location of these anchors. The way to do it is very simple. Just use a laser meter and we can do it in a very, very short time. So you're measuring the distance between the two, these two readers that I just set up? Yes. And then we've got to do that for each of the, each of the read points I just set up? Exactly. And then after that, you can uh, set up the X and Y location on the software on the PC, which is the next thing, next thing we need to do. Okay. Well, let's go do it. So I've installed my six readers, I've measured the distance between each of my readers, and I've even put some tags in the read field. So now, Albert, what do we do? The next and the last thing to do is to input the XY location that we've just measured onto the software. Let me show you. Here you see all the different angles already marked there automatically, and then you just punch in the XY location. So this is one example, let me show you, and save and edit. And yeah. so now we're seeing the readers that I've installed and the tags that I've put in the read field. In fact, you can see more information by just clicking it and then looking at the location graph. And lo and behold, you see the blue ball here which shows the tag within the gray area, which is the one meter radius circle uh, at the actual location. So this is showing me the variance, so I know I'm within a meter accuracy with the system I just set up. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Okay, the whole process took me about 20 minutes. I'm impressed. Albert, thank you so much for that excellent overview of the CSL real-time location system. You're welcome. Now that I have my real-time location system set up, we can put it to the test. I have stationary tags positioned throughout the read zone, and we're going to add movement. 
So not only am I going to hand one of these tags to my assistant and move around in the read zone, I'm going to put the tag inside my pocket to make it just a little more challenging. See, the human body absorbs RF energy, so this should make it a little more difficult for the system to track me. So let's go see how it works. Let's take a look at the application software that comes with the CSL RTLS. On the left side, you'll see a map of the area the RTLS is set up in. The software allows you to overlay a floor plan, but we've hidden it here to make things easier to see. The six readers we set up are displayed around the perimeter of the map. Each is positioned between 12 and 20 meters apart. There are six tags in the area. The black dots are the actual measured location of the tags when we started our testing. The blue dots are the current location of the tags as determined by the RTLS. See those two blue dots moving around? That's me and my assistant. The fact that I had the tag in my pocket doesn't make much difference because the system doesn't measure the signal strength to determine location, but the time it takes for the tag to communicate with the readers. You can see by the grid that all of the tags are within one meter of their actual location. Remember, we're outside in this test scenario. Here we are, doing indoor performance testing of our CSL real-time location system. This environment has a lot more challenges than our outdoor environment because not only do we have metal shelves, but we also have forklifts and other vehicles moving around the facility. We've installed anchors around the perimeter of our distribution center. This allows us to track assets as they move around in real time. So we're going to take a look at just how accurate the system is. Again, we'll use the visualization engine that comes with the system. In this scenario, we're inside a large room in the factory that has a lot of metal shelves, equipment, and even people walking around. There are eight readers around the perimeter of the area, and now we're using eight tags. Like in the last scenario, most of the tags are stationary, but this time, there's one walking around. Even though we are in a challenging indoor environment, all of the tags are within two meters of their actual location. Instead of carrying a tag around in your pocket, CSL has a wrist tag suitable for real-time personnel tracking applications. It has a built-in motion sensor, temperature sensor, and emergency alert button that can be disabled if necessary. It's powered by a lithium battery that's rechargeable using a standard mini USB port. Since our original tests, CSL has made some significant enhancements to the RTLS. There are now three different types of anchors. An 80 degree beam width, a 180 degree beam width, and the 360 degree beam width. All of the anchors are IP67 rated so they can be installed outdoors. Additionally, the output power has been doubled which allows better penetration in complicated environments such as our indoor environment. The maximum number of anchors per cell has been increased from 8 to 256 and is now capable of tracking up to 65,000 unique tags. Using the portfolio of anchors and these enhancements, significantly larger areas can be covered. For example, here's a configuration that covers 900 by 600 meters. The XY positions can even be mapped to geographic coordinates such as latitude and longitude. The RTLS development kit now comes with a combination of anchors and tags priced at $39.95 for the FCC version. As Albert mentioned, the 2D map edgeware is also included at no charge. Given these features, price, and performance, we have to give the CS5000 the RFID Network Best in Class Award for RTLS. That wraps it up for this edition of the RFID Network. If you'd like more information on the CSL real-time location system or to have your product reviewed, please visit us on the web at RFID.net. Thanks for watching.